It seemed that fortune had smiled on Brad and Janet and that they had found the assistance that their plight required. Or had they? Hi. My name's Brad Majors. Uh, this is my fiancée, Janet Weiss. I wonder if you might help us. You see, our car broke down a few miles up the road. Do you have a phone we might use? Uh, I think perhaps you better both come inside. This way. Are you having a party? You've arrived on a rather special night. It's one of the master's affairs. Oh, lucky him. You're lucky. He's lucky. I'm lucky. We're all lucky. <laughs> It's astounding, time is fleeting, madness takes its toll, but listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control. Just a jump to the left. And then a step to the right. With your hands on your hips. You're making me sit tight. Maybe it's the velvet glass. It really does an insane game. Let's do the time on the air. Let's do the time on the air. It's a dream. Free me so you can't see me. No, not at all. In another dimension with voyeuristic intention. Well secluded, I see all. With a bit of a mind flip, you're into the time slip. And nothing can ever be the same. I start on sensation Like you're under than I imagined. Aliens. From the day he was born, he was troubled. He was disowned in his mother's side. She tried in vain 
But he never caused her nothing but shame. He left home the day she died. From the day she was gone. Oh, he wanted was rock and roll born. On the motorbike, shooting up junk. He was a low-down, cheap little punk, taking everyone for a ride. Then he said he didn't like his head, he knew he was a no-good kid. But then he ran the line with a sweet slang knife. What a guy! And I did. Must have been drawn into something, making him warn me 